I usually don't go this route. I usually don't go this route. But you know, there's a lot of women that watch Stephen A. Smith show. There's a lot of ladies that want, dare I say, the male perspective. As a matter of fact, if you're the view, you should take notice. You, know, you might want to add me to the show from time to time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, male perspective sitting next to Joy Behar, Whoopi Goldberg. And the male perspective might help you out. Might help you out. Shade room, all you ladies up in there. Might help you to have a male perspective. Might help you to have a male perspective. And I'm going to give you the latest example because, see, my perspective is a little bit different. I didn't want to go here. I didn't want to talk about I didn't want to open this show talking about Michael Jordan's son, Marcus, and Scottie Pippen's ex-wife, Larza Pippen. You know, Real Housewives of Miami, you know that? You remember her? You know, she's 48, he's 32. They've been hooking up for years and now they're in love and they're talking about engagement and marriage and he's talking about multiple marriage or wedding ceremonies because the Jordans are private and all of this other stuff. As somebody who knows the Jordans a bit, he's absolutely right. They are very, very private. And since I've known Michael Jordan for years, I can assure you his privacy will never, ever in a million gazillion years be violated by me. But what I can tell you is that this is a story that's percolating and there's a lot of perspectives that people are throwing out there and they're throwing shade on these folks. And I got to admit to you, I got to come to the defense of a few people, okay? A few people, not everybody, but a few people I have to come to their defense. Now, before I do that, this is Michael Jordan's son, Marcus Jordan, with his purported fiance, Larza Pippen, with Marcus talking about their love and the potential nuptials. Take a listen first, please. When's the wedding, you guys? It's in the works. This is my uh, is my go to saying right now. You know, I don't think we have like a, a date. We're still talking about locations and how party size and all of that stuff. So it's not really uh, concrete yet, but it's it, it'll happen. Do you want your dad to give a toast at your wedding? How does this work? Yeah, you know, look, I was the best man at his wedding, and so and the best man at my brother's wedding, and so obviously we'll keep that tradition going. Is my my thoughts on it? I want in. I want. I, know, I want video cameras there. Now that you know, I've been on the on the Housewives in Miami. You know, all the producers are inquiring around. You know, when's the wedding? Are we gonna film it on TV? Yada yada yada. And so that's another thing that we're kind of playing along with is whether or not it'll it will air what are you leaning towards i mean and what is it like being on that show and you know your love is is so real but you guys also are so intriguing because of who you are so what's the balance there obviously look i'm we're very private people the jordans and so if it was up to me i think we would do maybe multiple weddings one private for our family and friends and then maybe there's one that's a little more public but uh you know i guess time will tell i guess time will tell now that was them on pablo torres my 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 my, my former colleague at espn great guy by the way contributes to dan levitard show sometimes he's got his own podcast as well he's doing great things always root for my colleagues and contemporary now all of them you know, not the fat bastards. I don't root for people like that. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. We ain't stuttering, but I won't mention that. I don't root for the fat bastard, okay? But most of my colleagues I root for, and Pablo Torres is one of them, so I wish him nothing but the best. But they were both Larza, Pippen, Marcus Jordan were on his podcast, and you saw what you just saw. This is cause to pause in a lot of people's eyes. How could this be happening? Can I tell you to shut the hell up? Or can I get real and raw about something? A show of hands to any man. Because you see, I'm very, very specific with this. There's a whole bunch of dudes out there that violate all kind of man codes. Like, y'all violate me all the time. Y'all will see me with my woman and you come up to me and start talking to me. You'll be with your woman and leave and, and come trying to talk to me. That's your woman over there. I ain't giving you none. I ain't giving you none. What the hell are you doing leaving your woman for? Priorities, fellas. And if I'm with my woman, I don't want to talk to you. You don't know that? Say hi. Keep it moving. Pass up on a damn picture. 
Okay? It's not like I'm Michael Jackson or Prince, God rest their soul. Get the hell over it. Watch me on ESPN. You see me with my woman, chill. Hell, you see me with any woman, chill. Could be my sister, could be my daughter, could be my, my aunt, could be anybody. You don't know what the hell is going on in my life and flicking pictures and all of that stuff to show everybody who you're with and stuff, even when you're not taking a picture with me. You don't know who I'm with. Dudes that do stuff like that, show me you ain't used to getting none. You just ain't used to getting none. Because you know better. That's violating man rules. That's one way to do it. This is the other. Why are we looking at Michael Jordan when it comes to who Marcus Jordan is hooked up with? The brother is 32. He ain't two. You can't tell him who to screw around with. You can't tell him who, he, who to lay down with. You can make suggestions. You can tell him your preference. You can tell him that you might not want him to be with somebody. But what the hell are you going to do? Cock block? What is Michael Jordan supposed to do? Now, according to TMZ and numerous reports from months ago, when he was, I guess, in France, he articulated he didn't necessarily approve. Marcus Jordan tried to knock that down. Saying that his father was just joking or whatever the case may be. I don't know whether he was joking or not. When I speak to Michael Jordan, I don't ask him such things. Ain't none of my damn business. I ain't paparazzi. I'm his boy. You know this. Number love for you, baby. Come on now. I'm making sci-fi in the house. Cute dog. Rude dog. You know what it is. But what I'm saying is ain't none of my damn business. You don't ask no questions like that. I have been in the presence of Jay-Z. And Beyonce on numerous occasions in the past. Do you know not one time that I asked them about each other? Not one time. I assumed she's with him. Usually there's a reason. Case closed. None of my damn business. But to get to Jordan, his son is a grown ass man. He can't tell his son what to do, who to do it with. If his son is looking at Laws of Pippin, who, by the way, albeit 16 years older, as a 56-year-old, knowing she's 48, I can understand why a 32-year-old would say, yeah, I might want to get with that. It, it makes sense. It, it, it makes sense, okay? There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in Miami. She's one of them. I understand why he would want to hook up with her. So he ain't wrong. He ain't the one that won six championships with Scottie Pippen. That wasn't his teammate and his boy. The son was the son. He ain't got nothing to do with all that. And if she is single and available, even though she divorced in 2021 and they met in 2019 and this friendship was solidified, how I have no idea, I don't know, but we can use our imagination, the two year gap from when she met him to the marriage being dissolved as a divorce, we can make assumptions. Y'all do that. Here's what I'm doing. He a grown ass man. And I have yet to meet a parent that determines who you screw around with. They might tell you what they don't like. Their opinion might have an impact on your thoughts and your beliefs and your feelings long term. But especially when it comes to the fellas. I don't know of any circumstances where a dude wanted to hook up with a honey and said, I can't because my daddy won't like it or mama won't like it. Now, again, maybe not in a long term relationship, but the hookup ain't going to stop. Not in any experience I've ever been told about. So that's Marcus's stuff. Let me get to Scotty, um, to, to, to Michael Jordan. If I hear one of y'all. Throwing shade on Michael Jordan. I swear to God, I'm going to lose it. Now, I know this is the digital airwaves, not necessarily patrolled by FCC or whatever, so I can go to hell off as much as I want to. 
and call you a dumb asshole or a fucking idiot. I could do that, but I'm not. What I'm going to say instead is this. Michael Jordan has nothing to do with the decisions that his son made. You would like his son to follow his daddy's wishes because obviously if you Michael, if you Marcus Jordan and everybody knows you the son of Michael Jordan, you got options. Why did you have to pick that one? I don't know whether the dad had that conversation with the son, but one could easily surmise that it probably took place. But in the end, as Marcus Jordan articulated, dad can express his opinion all he wants to, but he can't make me do what I don't want to do when it comes to a woman. And so now we got to get into the relationship with Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan has called Scottie Pippen the greatest teammate he has ever had. Michael Jordan has said for the record that he would have never had six championships without Scottie Pippen. Michael Jordan has shown his gratitude to Scottie Pippen over and over and over again. And I can't tell y'all how pissed I was. And y'all saw me months ago on this very podcast when I was going off about Scottie Pippen going off about Michael Jordan because he didn't like how he was betrayed, portrayed in The Last Dance, that docu-series that came out when sports stopped due to COVID and it was a four-month hiatus and all we had was The Last Dance and that shit was off the chain. It was must-see TV. And we all know it would not have been if Michael Jordan didn't narrate and participate to the degree that he did. Scottie Pippen got all salty because of how he was portrayed. These are true stories. It was true that you signed a contract that you sent in the sign, that Jerry Reinsdorf warned you not to sign it, that Michael Jordan warned you not to sign it, but you signed it anyway. It was true that you kicked up your sneakers and showed that you was wearing Jordan, begging Jordan to come out of retirement when he was playing baseball. And you were trying to win a championship and you were coming up short. Because Hugh Hollins robbed you of a call at the Garden and the Knicks ultimately won that series. It was true that you weren't able to get to the conference finals or the NBA finals without Michael Jordan. It was true that every damn title you won was with Michael Jordan, with him as the star. Scottie Pippen, one of the most ignorant ass shit. Ooh, let me, let me compose myself. Oh my God. Oh my God. One of the most Ignorant statements I've ever heard was when Scottie Pippen was complaining about the last dance. You like, we, we, we a team, we, we a team, we all the same. Really? You are a team. That's not what I'm saying. We're all the same. Really? Everybody was Michael Jordan? Were you Michael Jordan when Michael Jordan was gone? You was an uh, all-star uh, MVP at the all-star game. You got your team to the semifinals. It was Scottie Pippen that quit because Phil Jackson called the last play against the New York Knicks. I believe it was game three or four. I think it was game four. And he called the last play for Tony Kukoc to take the last shot. And Scottie Pippen was appalled and refused to check into the game. It was Scottie Pippen that had to deal with Bill Cartwright literally crying. Getting on Scottie Pippen, first talking to him on the bench, and then after that, crying in the locker room, talking about how he betrayed the team. He quit on them. That was Michael Jordan? Was that Michael Jordan? Didn't Michael Jordan tell you not to sign that contract? Didn't Michael Jordan say it was your chance to have it as your team? Didn't Michael Jordan, was it Michael Jordan that had the migraine headache in the game seven against the Detroit Pistons in the Eastern Conference Finals before y'all ever won a chip? Wasn't that Michael Jordan? Now, it was you, Scottie Pippen, that defended Magic Johnson, picked him up, covered, you know, 94 feet, baseline to baseline. After game one, when y'all lost that game one NBA Finals game against the Los Angeles Lakers, and then you took over and defended Magic Johnson because you were 6'9", just like Magic Johnson, and you could appeal his, his vision as a defender unlike any other defender in the NBA could. That is true. But all of those other things came with you too. All of those other things came with you. It wasn't Michael Jordan that did that. And then to top it all off, to sit up there and to provide an indication that after Michael Jordan's father had passed away when he was murdered, to sit up there years later and reveal that you hadn't given him your condolences on purpose. Now, this much I will say, 
when the last dance came out and Scottie Pippen ultimately wrote his book thereafter and he said the things that he said about Michael Jordan, I personally was on the phone with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan personally told me to go on first take my day job on ESPN and talk about, oh, I didn't know he didn't extend his condolences on purpose. I just thought it was a lot going on and enough people getting in my face and he was respecting me to leave me alone and not bother me. And he wanted to be there for me with his silence, but he was supportive. I didn't know that he intentionally refrained from extending his condolences over the loss of my father, that he had that level of animosity. That's why there's no coming back for Scottie Pippen. If you know anything about Michael Jordan, you can argue with Michael Jordan. You can tell him how you feel. You can be in his face. You can argue. You can motherfuck him. He can motherfuck you back, which he would do while smoking cigars. He'll do all of that. But the one thing he won't do is hold it against you if you got the guts to tell him to his face and you tell him privately before you ever reveal it publicly. He don't play that. And I can relate because neither do I. And that is Michael Jordan. So I say all of that to say Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen ain't friends unless something happened over the next few months that I don't know about. And again, I didn't ask. I got better things to do with my life but ask Michael Jordan, how are you, Scottie? Y'all ain't playing no more. I care less. But let me tell you something. I can't imagine that they're friends. And whether Michael Jordan approves or doesn't approve, he don't owe Scottie Pippen anything. Let's be real. Can we get raw for a second here? It ain't like Michael Jordan screwing around with Lars Pippen. Then that would be different. That would be kind of low. If Michael Jordan was single and he was messing around with Scottie Pippen's ex-wife, who was married to Scottie Pippen from 1997 to 2021, and they got four kids together. If Michael Jordan ended up with Scottie Pippen's ex, then that would be bad. Let's call it what it is. That would be bad. That is not the case. His son is his business. And I'm quite sure Michael Jordan never imagined that a woman that used to be married to his former teammate who's 16 years older than his son would want a son. But this is America. Stuff happens. Which brings me to Larsa Pippen. You know... <sighs> You women get real, real slick sometimes. I love how I see this story trending. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let me do Shanae. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh -uh. <laughs> Laws of Pippen. What's he doing? What's Michael Jordan doing? Why ain't y'all asking what's she doing? Now, the Marcus Jordan, you ain't got to worry, my brother. I ain't going to disrespect your woman. I would never do that. What I'm simply saying is, why we ain't asking about her? She's the one that was married to Scottie Pippen. Not Marcus, not Michael. She's the one who had four kids with Scottie Pippen. Not Michael, not Marcus. I have no doubt that they had to have been along the court over the course of all of those years they played together, a time when her and the kids were around Michael and his kids. Now, let's backtrack. It's 2019 that they met. That's four years ago. He was 28. She was 44. Two consenting adults, fine. But that ain't the first time she met him. How'd that happen? And oh, you were just friends. And I love how people, are, it's like, it, it's an accident. It just happened. What well, just happened? It just happened. You just fell into it, huh? Fell into it, on top of it, around it, whatever. I mean, what? It just happened. Really? Really? There's nothing inside of you that went, huh, I really, really like what I see. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. 
But I love how you ladies don't bring that up. Why are we talking about Michael Jordan? He a grown man, married, had kids before he divorced and remarried, then had twins, living his life, minding his business, running the Jordan brand, which is worth over $3 billion now. And oh, by the way, he got two kids, two young kids of his own, living his life, minding his business. His son is a grown ass man. What he do? He's got nothing to do with this. Oh, but he, he, you know, his son wants his dad to be his best man. Well, that's his daddy. That's his dad. It ain't about Michael Jordan wanting to be the best man. It's about him loving his son. He's supposed to love Scottie Pippen more than he loves his son? Who's supposed to come first here? And when Michael Jordan purportedly said no, he doesn't necessarily approve of the relationship. While Marcus Jordan found it funny, Larsa Pippen didn't. Is it possible she didn't find it funny because she was hoping he would approve because she knew how uncomfortable of a situation she may have created? She did not commit a crime. She did not break any laws. She's not trifling or anything like that, like some of y'all would say. But can we at least acknowledge it's uncomfortable for a multitude of people? Because you see, chances are, if she does get married, while Scottie Pippen won't be there, her children will to support their mother. Just like Marcus Jordan's siblings and Michael Jordan's children will be there to support their brother or his son. The only person close to wrong in all of this is Lazar. And I'm not saying she is. To each his own. Happiness is happiness. Life is too short, man. Whatever it takes to be happy. You don't want to be unethical and salacious and amoral. But the bottom line is, if you're not really hurting anybody else, go be happy. But if we're going to point the finger of blame anywhere, it ain't with the fellas. Marcus ain't Michael, and Michael ain't involved with Lazar. The person close to something wrong is Lazar, depending. On how you feel about it. Some people think it's wrong. Some people think it ain't right. Others love cougars. Love being cougars. And they are just a round of applause to her. Who knows? But it would be nice for the ladies to stand up. And to point out at least once. Michael and Marcus are actually innocent in all of this. They've done nothing wrong. Marcus don't owe Scottie Pippen nothing. And Michael Jordan, it's not his place to get involved. You express your opinion and you bounce. I don't know of any father who has been able to control and dictate who his son decides to lay up or down or sideways or around with I don't know of a father who's pulled that off and that's all I wanted to say about that particular situation I ain't saying anybody's wrong but if anybody is wrong look at Lars or no one but Marcus and Michael Stop. Find somebody better to do. Do your homework. Stop that BS. And if there's anything to feel sorry about with Scottie Pippen, that would be it. Because damn, who the hell wants to be in the news over something like that? You ain't got nothing to do with it. And his name is going through the news. He more popular for that now than he is for his six championships. Because of what the X is doing. That's some sad stuff. 
That's some sad stuff. 